All right, chances now you probably heard of the great resignation where record numbers of people have left their jobs. But what if your great resignation now becomes your great regret? Darcy Eichenberg is a career expert and author who wrote the new book called Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job. She joins me now from Bonita Springs, Florida, where it's unseasonably cool this time of year. She has five tips to get you back on track. Good morning to you, Darcy. Good morning, Scott. Great to be here. All right, let's go with lesson number one. Learn the lesson, but you say do not dwell, right? You can't dwell on it. You know, we make the best decisions that we can for the moment that we're in. And let's face it, we've been in some crazy moments the past couple of years. So if you're now feeling like, well, maybe I didn't make the best decision for the long term, it's okay to accept that. It's okay to change and learn the lesson. And we're going to share some techniques where you can be able to keep moving forward. Oh, right. Then with that in mind, assess your assumptions. Does this have anything to do with don't assume anything, you know, that old acronym, or is this we, something different? <laughs> we make a lot of assumptions, especially in our workplace, right? We think that everything is so structured. We think there are so many rules. Well, here's a secret. It's all made up. We have to look hard at the assumptions that we made that led us to decisions that maybe now we're saying, maybe that wasn't the right decision for me. We might have assumed that, um, that there was no room for growth or there's no room to make more money. But a lot of that is changing. So it's a good time to assess those assumptions again and really ask yourself, what's really true here? Yeah, and just a slight bit off topic here. This just came to me. You're talking about those assumptions. A lot of people, they make those because they don't ask. Maybe they don't right. ask their employer, what do I still possibly have here? What can improve my work situation? Yeah, Scott, it's so important. There's a chapter in the book called Ask for What You Need. And there's so many times I've heard in the past couple of, you know, couple of months, even in the last year or so, of people just assuming that they couldn't have it because maybe there was an edict from on high, but they didn't ask the specific question about what they needed. It's so important to learn how to ask. All right, your next one is, and I don't want to guess what this is, I think I might know, but it's consider a boomerang path. What is that? Yeah, boomerang employee is actually a thing. And, and I'm starting to see the signs of more and more of this. And this is great whether you are thinking maybe you'd like to go back to where you were, or maybe you're a leader who has a lot of people who've been leaving. The, you know, the boomerang employee is simply the person who comes back. And the professional services organizations have known this for years, right? They've even developed alumni organizations to keep in touch with people who left because it might it might be exactly the right thing to go back. It may not be doing exactly what you were doing, but it might be a time to kind of hit that reset button and reshape how you can make a contribution to that company. But yes, you can go home again. You can boomerang back. Sounds like a, a, a Hoosier motto. You can go home again. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it was. Maybe it was one of our slogans a long time ago. All right, the last one, I'm going to kind of do a twofer here. You talk about reframing regret into experience and also sharing your stories with others, right? Regret can be a helpful emotion if, as we talked about in the first lesson, we don't dwell on it. But sharing our experience, recognizing what did I learn from this, how am I growing from this, and talking about it with others. We keep so much of our career decisions to ourselves. You know, we keep them very sheltered. But when we talk to others, we can help others. And somebody out there needs to hear from you and what you've gone through. Darcy Eichenberg author of the book, Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job. Shortest title ever, not. <laughs> Darcy, where can people pick up the book? You can get the book at all online booksellers or go to redcaperescue.com and you can find links there. All right, great information. Love talking to you this morning, Darcy. Thank you. It was a lot of fun, Scott. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, you too. Lindy, over to you.